हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टाइटल सिग्मोइड ग्रोथ कर्व सो लेट्स मूव ऑन फर्स्ट वी वुड हैव इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट सिग्मोइड ग्रोथ कर्व द रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ ए प्लांट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वेरियस फैक्टर्स एंड इट इज नॉट एलवेज द सेम समाइम्स द ग्रोथ रेट इज वेरी स्लो एंड समटाइम देर इज रेपिड नेचर If we plot the increase in cell numbers regarding growth rate against time, a typical A-shaped curve is obtained. This is called growth curve or sigmoid growth curve. Before studying in details about sigmoid growth curve, first we should have understanding of growth and development. Growth is defined as an permanent and irreversible increase. in size and volume of plant accompanied by increase in dry weight while development refers to the qualitative changes in plant parts which reflects to the reproductive growth like formation of flowers fruits falling of leaves etc growth is a vital process that reflects the permanent and irreversible changes in plant parts with respect to its size like is plants are growing from germinating stage to harvesting stage and its changing form from vegetative to reproductive stage then weight increase in dry matter weight and volume like grain yields or biological yields growth is restricted only to living cells and it is accomplished by metabolic processes which involving the synthesis of macromolecules like nucleic acid proteins lipids polysaccharides starch etc the term growth is used to denote an increase in size by cell division and cell enlargement together with the synthesis of new cellulose material and the organization of cellular organelles in plants the growth is of two types first is vegetative growth and second reproductive growth vegetative growth occurs from germination stage to floral primordial stage and within this period the main events which are taking place in plant life cycle are germination seedling emergence leaf and stem growth under reproductive growth it occurs from initiation of floral primordial development to the completion of seed formation and there are various events which are taking place within reproductive growth cycles like uh, primordial initiation flower emergence anthesis flowering pollination fertilization seed development and maturation so this reproductive growth is covering the grain yield part now we will focus on growth curves during plant life cycle growth curve is a graph obtained by plotting the growth rate of a plant against time factor the growth rate of a cell or a plant organ or a whole plant or whole life cycle of plant is measured in terms of length size area volume or weight and it is found that different growth phases results in a shaped curve which is known as sigmoid curve in initial stages during the phase of cell formation the growth rate increases slowly while it increases rapidly during the phase of cell elongation or cell enlargement and again slows down during the phase of cell maturation these growth curves are divided in three types first one is sigmoid curve second is polynomial curve and third is asymptotic curve as sigmoid curves is concerned there is typical growth pattern of annual plants and and under a sigmoid curve there are three phases first one is leg phase of growth second is log phase of growth and third is senescence or steady or stationary phase 
Now here we will focus on sigmoid growth curve in details. The period during which the course of growth takes place is known as grand period of growth. In a standard growth curve, there will be three well marked regions. First is the initial growth, which is known as lag phase. The second is the grand period of growth, which is exponential or log phase. And third is the steady stage, which is maturity stage or senescence or stationary phase. The overall growth may be affected by external or internal factors, but the S shaped curve of grand period of growth is never influenced. This growth curve suits well to entire life of an annual plant when measured in terms of dry weight against time. Early growth of the plant is limited by amount of food reserves in the seed. When the emerged seedlings develop to adequate root system and enough leaf surfaces to support vigorous photosynthesis and anabolism, a period of rapid increase in size is possible. High metabolic rates are not maintained indefinitely and eventually processes are not set in motion that leads to cessation of growth. The factors responsible for the decrease in growth are, are competition for essential metabolites, growth substances, water, light or the accumulation of inhibitors, toxic substances and waste materials. Now we will study the phases in sigmoid growth curve. First phase is lag phase of growth. In this period, the growth rate is quite slow because it is the initial stage of growth. Second phase is log phase of growth or also known as rapid phase. During this period, the growth rate is maximum and reaches the top because at this stage, the cell division and physiological process are quite fast. So, in this period, there will be rapid growth of plants. Third phase is senescence phase or stretch phase where in this period the growth is almost complete and it's become aesthetic. So the growth rate becomes zero and the crop moves towards the maturity and harvesting stage. Second type of growth curve is asymptotic growth curve. When yield is the product of vegetative crop growth, the density yield relationship is asymptotic. In an asymptotic relationship with increase in density, yield rises to a maximum and then relatively constant at high densities. Further increase in plant density above the maximum doesn't increase the yield. This partially explains why recommended seed rates for fodders are higher than that for grain. The curve for biological yield can be defined by the expression for a rectangular hyperbole. Third type of growth curve is polynomial growth curve and it is also known as parabolic growth curve. The parabolic response curve is typically a flat topped one with decrease in grain yield on both sides of an optimum. The maximum plant yield is reduced by the increasing competition resulting from greater plant density. In consequence, it may be termed as competition function. So this presentation was all about sigmoid growth curve. Hope this will be useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details, journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback. Thank you.